Should you train for distance or should you train for speed? It's a common question and especially if you're a beginning runner, it can be difficult to figure out because uh, yeah, you want to train for a race so you want to run a certain distance but you also want to keep up with the crowd so you want to train your speed. So where do you start? In order to train properly and avoid injury, it's best to first work on your distance training before you work on your speed training. Uh, by slowly building up the distance, you'll be working on your endurance and your muscle strength, which will make it easier for you to run. It'll make that longer distances easier. And also, uh, while those runs get easier, you kind of automatically are working on your speed already. Once you're comfortable running longer distances and uh, you've worked on your muscle strength, then you can start on your speed training. The best way to do this is with some interval runs or uh, fight like runs. That way you can uh, start with shorter distances and build up from there. Once you get comfortable running at a uh, higher speed, you'll uh, notice that you'll also run faster on your longer distance runs. The distance training is a great base to get you uh, stronger and to get your endurance up so that you can get to that finish line. Uh, the speed is the extra part. That comes partially for, for free uh, by doing the distance training. Uh, and a big part of it, you'll have to work for it. And in some cases, you'll have to work hard for it. Uh, overall, uh, gaining distance is easier than gaining speed. For both counts, that you have to build it up slowly. Distance and speed both put more strain on your body. So by rushing this, you open yourself up to injury. Now, taking it slow might test your patience, but it'll make you a stronger runner. Uh, are you training for a distance goal or a speed goal? Let me know down below in the comments. Now until next time, get out there and run.